Hello everyone and welcome to Wednesday. In theory, today I'm going to be bringing you something that I probably should have brought you yesterday. But I didn't, so I'm bringing it to you today. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about Grand Theft Auto V. In particular, I want to talk about the new GTA V trailer. If you can call it a trailer. It's not really a trailer, it's a gameplay video. Um, before I get into it, and I want to start by saying that it is an incredible video, um, I want to take a look at the timeline of video releases for GTA 5. I've written them down so I wouldn't mess anything up. November 2nd, 2011. <laughs> 11. We got trailer 1. We knew that the game was in development. Obviously there's going to be another GTA 5 game, or another GTA game, and there had been more and more rumors leading up to that date until uh, I think a week before they said that there was going to be a trailer. And there was, and the world rejoiced. It looked amazing, everyone was really excited, and then no one heard a thing. There were a few screenshots here and there, a few news articles, but no more video. It was November 14th, 2012, <laughs> over a year later, before we ever got the next trailer. And it was an awesome trailer. It also got Stevie Wonder stuck in my head. Um, fast forward, I guess, five months. April 30th of this year. We got the Michael Franklin Trevor video, which is basically three mini trailers that shows um, each different character of GTA 5. You've got Michael, a retired bank robber gone family man. Uh, Franklin, a thug from the hood who uh, is trying to get out of that situation. And uh, then you have Trevor, who is I guess, a, a piece of work. But that was at the end of April, and it's been a few months now. It's July, and yesterday, July 9th, we get a new video. It is a gameplay video, and it actually shows uh, the game being played as opposed to cutscenes. All the trailers were made with um, the in-game engine, but they've been cutscenes thus far. By the way, if you haven't seen any of this stuff, I'm putting links all down below. Um, keep in mind, it is a game that is rating pending, but it's going to be rated M for sure, and um, it's got... M rated stuff in it. Anyway, that's down below. Um, I've watched this gameplay video a few times. I've watched the other trailers a few times, which is saying something because normally when a game is going to debut, I don't do that. But I've been very, very excited for GTA 5. It's one of my favorite franchises, and uh, I can tell, I think everyone can tell, just by watching these videos and hearing what we are hearing coming out about this game, that it is going to be phenomenal. The game is huge. The game is absolutely huge and it, apparently you're going to be able to do so many things in this huge world. Um, there seems to be a great divide in Grand Theft Auto fans. People that really, really like 4 and really, really hate 4. I'm one of those people that really, really liked 4. A lot of people complained that it was too small. It was too serious. And I liked that it was very small, um, but what they did with the space was great. A lot of people like San Andreas because it was huge, you know, it was massive. Uh, you could do so many different things, but a lot of it was empty space. I mean, there were times where you could be out riding in the wilderness, you could do something and crash your car, and then you'd be screwed, and you'd be walking along the side of the road hoping that the tractor was nearby so you could tractor jack it. But that was San Andreas, and people loved it. People loved that there was so much space to play around. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was essentially a giant playground. Um, also, the switch from the 3 trilogy to 4 was a huge difference in physics and a lot of people couldn't adjust, especially to like driving cars. But if you get used to it, it's way better. It's, it's way better. Anyway, um, GTA 5 is coming out and it looks like they've basically taken all of the appreciation for San Andreas and really refined it. I mean, this is set in the area of San Andreas. It is way, way bigger than San Andreas, and it looks like they're filling all of that space with stuff to do. I mean, you can go hunting, you can go diving. There are scenes in the gameplay video of like underwater shipwrecks that you can explore. It's fascinating. It's, it's, this is, I mean, I, I know it's too early to, to, to say, but I feel very strongly that GTA 5 could very well be game of the year. I know that it has other things that it would be going up against, like The Last of Us, which I haven't played personally but has had rave reviews, but GTA 5 is looking to be a fantastic game. I don't normally, practically ever, buy games on release, but GTA 5, 
is a game that I will probably get on release, if only to fully support Rockstar. It's going to be great. I'm really, really excited. So basically, I made this vlog to hear your opinions on GTA V. Are you excited about it? Um, I had seen a uh, tweet earlier from Josh Jepson. He had said that he has never played a GTA game, but he was getting very, very excited for GTA V just based on the media that's come out about it, you know, the screenshots and the videos, and I think that's awesome. And I think that GTA V is going to be a wonderful time to jump into the series. Uh, that doesn't mean that the old games are bad. Far from it. It's just the GTA games, even though they have different stories and different settings and different soundtracks, etc., it's almost like it's the same concept and they're building blocks on top of each other. The games get progressively better and to go back and play GTA 3 now that we have San Andreas and 4 and Ballad of Gay Tony, like to, pl to play 3 now, it feels very, very dated. I would know. I've been playing through 3 on my smartphone for the last few months. So if any of you have never played a GTA game, wait. Wait and get 5 because it looks like 5 is going to be the definitive game. They always get better. Every game gets better, and 5 is going to be the pinnacle of the series thus far by a large, large margin. And it's going to set the bar very, very high for other games. Anyway, talk about GTA 5, talk about the gameplay video, uh, point out interesting special things that you saw. Um, I know that there's one part where they actually bring up the uh, display that shows where all of the weapons are. It's a circular hub thing where you can choose, so you can actually pause the video and see that. Um, and another point, whenever um, Michael breaks through the window and he's holding a guy at gunpoint, uh, it shows the mechanic of being able to switch over to Franklin, who is there with a sniper rifle. And uh, interesting is the little bars in the bottom right corner of the screen, which actually show stats. They're stats like special stamina, shooting, strength, stealth, flying, driving, and lung capacity. So I'm assuming that these are things that you can, over time, uh, train and you know increase, which I think is neat. So. There was a scene uh, in the gameplay video where they go to a shooting range and, you know, they're practicing shooting the targets. So that probably increases your shooting, you know, abilities. It's, that's, a lot of that stuff is from San Andreas because they took a lot of that out when 4 came out. And I think a lot of that is back in because players really wanted that. Now, can your players get fat if they eat too many burgers? Hopefully not. Hopefully that's gone because that was a little annoying. But, uh... Everything else has been really cool. I'm going to stop rambling about it. I'm going to let you guys discuss any and everything related to GTA V. Like I said before, all the videos are going to be down in the description box. You can check them out. And uh, I look forward to the discussions you guys post. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Uh, Oto Noishi 2 and Oto Noishi. The music on these are spectacular. If uh, I don't even know if it's possible to still get a hold of these. You are on the losing end of this battle. Oh, hold on. So, excuse me. I gotta make a new, new axe. Hey, hey, hey! Give me a, give me a, give me a second. I gotta make a new axe. All right, let's play.